Controversial movie, The Interview, was released in select theaters today, and locally, the OCO in Monterey offered its first showing today at noon. Action News reporter Lauren Sieber was there. She's live from Monterey to see how the movie went over. Yeah, Dan, moviegoers we caught up with today say it wasn't just about seeing a funny movie on Christmas. Instead, it was more of a political statement for this film. Now, moviegoers lined up outside the OCO Theater this morning. As the doors opened, many rushed in buying tickets for the interview. The movie, a comedy about plans to kill the North Korea leader, was canceled in about 3,000 theaters across the country after Sony experienced a cyber attack from North Korea threatening the safety of moviegoers. Today, the movie came out in 331 independently owned theaters, like the OCO in Monterey. The manager of the OCO says they had already sold about 90 tickets yesterday for today's showings, more than ever sold for any other movie. He says they were eager to show it. We don't believe in censorship or banning, you know. It's Everybody should have the right to see the movie if they wanted to. It's very important that we're here to. Um Make sure that nothing gets in the way of our freedom and our democracy. We can't just let, I mean, some tyrant, I mean, across the Pacific, who has absolutely no jurisdiction here, dictate what we can and cannot watch. The theater was staffed with additional security today and was contacted by the FBI with warnings about cyber crimes. But that's not stopping the theater from showing the film. It will be filmed or will be shown five times a day for the next seven days. Dan. All right. Thank you very much, Lauren. Besides the OCO, the interview is also being shown at the Cinelux in Scotts Valley and the Del Mar downtown.